Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to talk to you about this book, Shade by Chad Nicholas. And if you watch a lot of my colleagues here on booktube, you've probably heard about this book already. But Chad very kindly did reach out to me and ask if I would like a copy for review. And of course I said yes. So I meant to get to this review a couple of weeks ago, but it it just didn't happen. I haven't posted a video for a while, so I do apologize for that. Um, but if you haven't heard about this book, basically here we have a dual timeline. And in the first timeline, we're following two FBI agents and they're hunting down a serial killer. And this serial killer is really super diabolical. He hunts down young women and mutilates them and kills them. Um, but as he's going along, the more women he kills, the younger they're getting. So these two FBI agents are hunting down this killer. And of course, with the nature of these killings, it's really hard and it's very graphic. And in the other timeline, we are following one of these detectives as he's trying to protect a young woman from a serial killer as well. And he's protecting her specifically because she fits his modus operandi basically and she fits his profile um, and they think that she is going to be the next victim. But this young lady is actually ex-military and she had a really horrific thing happen to her when she was in the military and she is suffering quite badly from PTSD. And essentially she doesn't think that she should be saved. Um, so we have a little bit of um, suicidal ideologies going on here and especially with the nature of what she experienced when she was in the military. So that's all I want to say about the synopsis. So I'll get right into my thoughts on the book. So first off with the writing, the writing style, I really, really enjoyed the writing of this book. It's very well written. There's a lot of character development and I'll get into a little bit of the nature of the character development in a little bit, but it's very, very well done. Um, we go into the backstories of a lot of these characters, but at the same time, it's also a very fast moving book. It's super fast paced and it's very much kind of a, I would say an action crime thriller. So really, really well paced. I flew through this book um, because it just one thing happened after another. And so it was written really, really well. And this was the first book that I had read by Chad Nicholas. His last book, Nightmare, had gotten quite a lot of hype, but I hadn't had a chance to read it yet before he reached out and asked me to read this one. So going into this, you know, I really had no expectation of what the writing style was like. And it turned out that I really, really enjoyed it. So so I'm hoping relatively soon I'll be able to go back and read Nightmare as well because if the writing style is the same then I know I'm most likely going to enjoy it. So getting into the meat and bones of the theme that I really enjoyed in this book was an examination of PTSD specifically and mental health especially when it comes to people in emergency services. You know here we're dealing with FBI agents, we're dealing with a girl that was in the military. And, you know, in these lines of work, of course, you're seeing really, really horrific things. So we have three characters specifically that are all dealing with some level of trauma, some level of PTSD that is affecting them. But the way that they handle it and the way that it affects them is completely different. So you have pretty much the same sort of type of trauma. Like, so they've seen something that's really horrific and they've experienced something horrific in their line of work and it's really, really affected them. So we have one person that it affects them in a way that they're hallucinating and these hallucinations are telling them to do something. And basically they're not gonna go away until he carries out these acts. Then we have the young lady who was experiencing PTSD from her time in the military and she's kind of gone the way of she's attacking herself instead of attacking other people and she's really internalizing everything and she doesn't feel like she deserves to live anymore. She just doesn't want to have anything to do with this life. She can't get over what she has seen. And then we have someone else who has seen really horrific things and they've experienced stuff but they're handling it in a completely different way than the other two. So, and that's very interesting because even with my own experience with mental illness, a lot of times, you know, you some people, the way they 
handle it is they lash out at other people. Other people, they lash out at themselves and they're very suicidal and they don't want to harm anybody else. And then you have a third type of people that they just really want to put it away and they want to just not think about it and they're trying to kind of get on with their lives. So that examination was really interesting to me. I thought it was really well done. And the backstories, like I said, with these characters, the character development was spectacular. I really, really enjoyed learning about the backstories of these characters and the situations that they've experienced are heartbreaking really really heartbreaking especially with the young girl that was in the military the way that the situation was described i found myself kind of choking up a little bit and it was just awful so you can really feel for these characters you can really kind of understand what it is that they're going through and like i said it's dealing with trauma how different people react to how they're dealing with trauma and if you're put in that situation you can say all you want that you're going to react a certain way but you have absolutely no idea how it's going to affect you, how your brain is going to work, and what the outcome is going to be. So I really, really liked that particular aspect of the book. Now getting into kind of my critique a little bit, um, there was one thing that I didn't like about this book uh, that unfortunately really took me out of the story. So like I said, um, this is kind of an action crime thriller. There is one character in here who is very much like a one-man show. So if you've seen like, you know, the Jason Bourne kind of movies or Steven Seagal or whatever, where they go into a room and everyone else is heavily armed and they take out, you know, 10 guys at the same time and um, they can get out of situations that you would think is not something you would be able to get out of. And I'm really not into those kinds of movies. Um, Josh over at Coffee Cats and King said, you know, it's kind of like this superhero movie kind of situation that's going on within the story. And he's not into those types of movies or storylines either, and neither am I. So unfortunately, you have these long sections in the book where you have, um, one of the serial killers who is in these situations where the FBI or the the SWAT team or whatever go into a room and he takes them all out or he can get out of a straight jacket and all of that sort of thing so you have these long sections of this sort of action movie type storyline and for me personally now lots of people I'm sure would like that kind of storyline but for me personally it really took me out of the meat and bones of the story that I wanted to read. So given that fact I did have to bring my star rating down because there was there were some times during the book where I was kind of rolling my eyes and I was like okay this is kind of far-fetched but having said that I did still really like this book you know like I said we're all different some people are gonna love that aspect and like I said this is very fast-paced it's very much an action sort of story so overall I'm going to give this book three and a half stars it was kind of half and half where I really enjoyed the examination of trauma um, especially with how different people handle it but at the same time unfortunately I was taken out of the story with those action sort of sequences but overall I am definitely going to recommend that you pick up this book especially if you're into those kind of crime thrillers and for myself I am definitely going to read more of Chad Nicholas's work uh, I really enjoyed the writing style and the meat and bones of the story was definitely right up my alley so there you go, that is my review of Shade by Chad Nicholas. It just came out this month on October the 5th, so please go over and check it out and support him if you can by picking up a copy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me a question or a comment down below because you know I love chatting with you guys. But until next time, stay spooky everybody. Bye.